Islamic terrorist. <laughs> and not and not decent people like Yasmin. We are intelligent enough and good enough as Americans to make this distinction. Senator McCain. Well, I do a lot of things, but the first and most important and vital element is to continue this surge which is succeeding and we are winning the war in Iraq. That's the first thing I would do. And I would make sure that we do what we can to help reconstruct the country, to help the Maliki government move forward as rapidly as possible, to train the police. But I'll tell you one other thing we're going to do is we're going to fight back the Democrats' efforts to set a date for withdrawal, which is a date for surrender. Now, my friends, I'm the only one on this stage. I'm the only one on this stage that said that the Rumsfeld strategy was failing and was doomed to failure. I'm the only one on this stage that said we've got to have a new strategy, and that's the strategy we're employing now. And I got a lot of heat when I said that that strategy was failing and it had to be changed, because I've had the experience and the background and the knowledge of every national security issue we face for the last 20 years. And I'm telling you that if we continue this strategy, we can succeed. And if we'd have done what the Democrats said to do six months ago, Al-Qaeda would be telling the world they beat America. Time. This is a lot at stake here, my friends, and thank God for the young men and women who are sending the message, I repeat to you again, after having been there over Thanksgiving weekend, let us win. Let us win. Just 30 seconds, Congressman Hunter. The question is, how do you repair the image of America in the Muslim world? Yeah. Uh, Cooper, Cooper, very simply, to, to the critics of, of America, I would say this. When you were, were faced with disease and starvation, the Americans brought food and medicine. When you had earthquakes and tsunamis and floods, the Americans came and helped you. And when you were threatened from outside, the Americans left the safety of their own homes to come and defend you. I will never apologize for the United States of America. Our next question, our next question comes from Seattle, Washington. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Andrew, and I'm a college student from Seattle, Washington. Recently, Senator McCain has come out strongly against using waterboarding as an instrument of interrogation. My question for the rest of you is, considering that Mr. McCain is the only one with any first-hand knowledge on the subject, how can those of you sharing the stage with him disagree with his position? Governor Romney? Well, he certainly is an expert, and, and, uh, and, I, and I certainly would want to get his counsel on a matter of this nature, but I do not believe that as a, a presidential candidate it is wise for us to describe precisely what techniques we will use in interrogating people. I oppose torture. I would not be in favor of torture in any way, shape, or form. Is waterboarding we, torture? And, and as, as I just said, as a presidential candidate, I don't think it's wise for us to describe specifically which measures we would and would not use. And that is something which I would want to receive the counsel, not only of Senator McCain, but of a lot of other people. And there are people who, who uh, for many, many years, get the information we need to make sure that we protect our country. And by the way, I want to make sure these folks are, are kept at Guantanamo. I don't want the people that are carrying out attacks in this country to be brought into our jail system and to be given legal representation in this country. I want to make sure that, that what happened to, to Khalid Sheikh Mohammed happens to other people who are terrorists. He was captured. He was the so-called mastermind of the 9-11 tragedy. And he turned to his captors and he said, I'll see you in New York with my lawyers. I presume ACLU lawyers. So that's not what happened. He went. He went to Guantanamo and he met GIs and CIA interrogators, and that's just exactly how it ought to be. There, Senator McCain, there are reports Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was waterboarded. Well, Governor, I'm astonished that you haven't found out what waterboarding is. I know what waterboarding is, Senator. Then I'm astonished that you would think such a, uh, such a torture would be inflicted on anyone in our ca who we are held captive, and anyone could believe that that's not torture. It's in violation of the Geneva Conventions. It's in violation of, of existing law. And Governor, let me tell you, if we're going to get the high ground in this world, and we're going to be America that we have cherished and loved for more than 200 years, we're not going to torture people. We're not going to do what Pol Pot did. We're not going to do what's being done to Burmese monks as we speak. And I suggest that you talk to retired military officers and active duty military officers like Colin Powell and others. And how in the world anybody could think that that kind of thing could be inflicted by Americans on people who are held in our uh, custody is absolutely beyond me. Governor uh, Romney, 30 seconds to respond, please. 
Senator McCain, um, I, you know, I appreciate your, your strong response, and, and, uh, and you have the credentials upon which to make that response. I did not say, and I do not say, that, we're in fa that I'm in favor of torture. I am not. I'm not going to specify the, the specific means of what is and what is not torture so that our, the people that we capture will know what things we're able to do and what things we're not able to do. We and I get, the, I get that advice from Kofor Black, who is a person who was responsible for counterterrorism in the CIA for some 35 years. I get that advice by talking to formal, former generals in our military. And, and I, don't believe, I don't believe it's, it's appropriate for me as a presidential candidate to lay out all of, this, all of the issues one by one, Fine. get questioned one by one, is this torture, is that torture? Senator and McCain, so that's something, that's something which I'm going to take your and other people's counsel on. Senator McCain, 30 seconds to respond. Well, then you would have to advocate that we withdraw from the Geneva Conventions, which were for the treatment of people who are held prisoner, whether they be, be illegal combatants or regular prisoners of war, because it's clearly the definition of torture. It's in, def it's in violation of laws we have passed. And again, I would hope that we would understand, my friends, that life is not 24 and Jack Bauer. Life is interrogation techniques which are humane and yet effective. And I just came back from visiting prison in Iraq. The Army general there said that te the techniques under the Army field manual are working and working effectively, and he didn't think they need to do anything else. My friends, this is what America is all about. This is a defining issue. And clearly, we should be able, if we want to be commander in chief of the U.S. Armed Forces, to take a definite and positive con position on, and that is we will never allow torture to take place in the United States of America. Staying, staying on this issue, let's watch. Hello, my name is Buzz Brockway from Lawrenceville, Georgia. All the talk about the war in Iraq centers around how quickly we can get out. I think that's the wrong question. We need to make a permanent or long-term military commitment to the region. By staying in Iraq, we provide long-term stability to the region. We provide support for our allies, and we act as a deterrent to the troublemakers in the region. Which presidential candidate will make a permanent or long-term military commitment to the people of Iraq? Thank you. Senator Thompson. We shouldn't be in there longer than necessary, and we don't know how long that will be. But we should be there absolutely as long as it takes uh, to complete our mission there. Uh, it, it, will, it, will, it will make for a safer United States of America. Uh, we're all focused, uh, understandably, on Iraq and Afghanistan right now, but it is part of a much bigger picture. Uh, Islamic terrorism has declared war on us and Western civilization. They would like nothing better than to kill millions of people as they bring us down. They would like to be able to advertise to young radicals around the world that uh, you too could help bring down the United States of America. Iran is waiting there to fill that vacuum. Uh, you think uh, $90, $100 a, a, a barrel is, uh, is, is high for oil now, wait until that happens. But more importantly, it would make for a less secure United States of America. We have to do what's necessary. We have to take the opportunity that we have now. John's absolutely right. What's going on uh, th there is, is, is progress. It's called progress. Too many people in this country are vested in a scenario of defeat. Uh, I'm vested in the scenario of victory, and I see it happening there in Iraq today. Congressman Paul, 30 seconds. The best commitment we can make to the Iraqi people is to give them their country back. That's the most important thing that we can do. Already, already part of their country has been taken back. In the South, they claim the surge has worked, but the surge really hasn't worked. There's less violence, but El Sadr has essentially won in the South. The British are leaving. The brigade of El Sadr now is in charge, so they are getting their country back. They're in charge up north. The, uh, the, the, Shia, the, uh, the people in the north are in charge as well, and there's no violence up there or nearly as much. So let the people have their country back again. Just think of the, the cleaning up of the mess after we left Vietnam. Vietnam now is a friend of ours. We trade with them. The president comes here. What we achieved in peace was unachievable in 20 years of the French and the Americans being in Vietnam. So it's time for us to take care of America first. Senator McCain. 30 seconds. Well, let me, let me remind you, Congressman, we never lost a battle in Vietnam. It was American public opinion that forced us to lose that conflict. And if you...